Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market prep video for April 16th, 2020. Hey, yesterday we had an interesting day with the Bears launching an attack, but by the end of the day, the Bulls really defended well. So what does that mean for today? Well, let's grab ourselves our beverage of choice, settle into our office chair, and let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning we have an interesting situation. Overnight we had futures that were pushing substantially lower and then we had a couple surprising things happen. First we had um, Australia's job numbers came in better than expected. That lifted Asian markets back up and then we had Germany announce that they are going to try and um, ease lockdown restrictions um, and maybe start getting back to work. They're going to do it in a cautious way, they're saying. But that also helped to kind of provide a little levity to the market, lifting us back up. So let's take a look at what we've got going on this morning and let's take a look at these technicals and see what we can glean from this and see how we might want to approach the market for the today. So first off, we have had just an extraordinary rally here in the market off of these lows. One would suspect that a pullback could occur at any time because of the substantial move. So yesterday's pullback wasn't a surprise, but and what was honestly kind of a surprise to me is that the bulls did a better job of defending than I initially would have expected. So what I talked about yesterday is that support level right through here and we're holding on to that trend. So even though we had that attack yesterday and it was pretty brutal because we have such a large amount of space in here point wise um, for the market, we were able to hold on and holding on to these um, levels of support support is critical. If we can hang in here and continue to hang in here as we face um, a, a bunch more economic numbers today, we'll have to watch, wait, and see. But if we can hold on in here, there is that hope that we could actually rally up and maybe test that 50-day moving average. Now, keep in mind that 50-day moving average is still dropping. And there is... Uh, a, a world of hurt ahead of us still and we still have this price resistance chart right here uh, that we're going to have to deal with on any rally back so we'll want to stay focused on that and stay realize that we are um, in a bit of a consolidation and consolidations can go either direction it all depends on how, you know what the motivations happen to be but I have to say I'm going to give this one up to the bulls that they were able to finally stiffen up just a little bit hold on to a level of support even in the face of some really really bad economic numbers and earnings numbers um, which you know we're all expecting uh, to continue uh, throughout this earnings season so keep an eye on that we're holding in here and trying to remain bullish and that may hold us right through the weekend I don't know now today we're going to have um, some big economic numbers we'll talk about those in just a second so we could certainly see um, things turn lower as numbers begin to come out today so let's watch that close let's take a look at the spy spy once again kind of encouraged that the spy actually did a better job yesterday holding on than i initially would have have expected but we held in these um, areas of support and we have held on to trend so that is a good sign and we're continuing to move sideways here over toward this trend and as long as we can hold in this region here i don't think we've got anything terrible to look at here overall we do have a resistance level that proved itself once again yesterday we rallied up into there and then pulled away from it like it was a, a like it was kryptonite and uh, pulled away really um, really harshly 
um, in that. But so far, once again, we're holding in these support areas and we're not giving them up. The bulls defended quite well. Can they continue to do that? Well, we'll wait and see. But for now, I got to give that up to the bulls. They did a better job than I initially would have expected. Let's take a look at the Qs. Now, the Qs, definitely the strongest of the indexes. Uh, the Qs is just kind of um, actually gotten a little carried away in my opinion <laughs> um, we are a little bit too far extended away from this trend for my comfort because if we were to fall we have a really harsh fall that could occur here but we do have some things that give us some hope here and that is the fact that we have rallied above our 50-day moving average as you can see holding up here above our 50-day and yesterday's pullback held it just just fine and you can see we're looking at an open you know kind of right in here a little bit of a positive open here this morning on the nasdaq they're trying to hold that 50-day moving average strongly and this is the strongest of the indexes and really the strongest technical pattern that we have to date in um, the current market. Now, obviously, we have rallied so much off of these lows. One would think that eventually we're going to get um, a pullback, a consolidation of some kind. But so far, the bulls seem pretty tenacious here in trying to rally up just despite no, no matter what the economic numbers are, um, which is kind of surprising. Um, so watch that closely. If it does occur, we do get that take uh, takedown to the downside. It could be pretty swift and it could be pretty harsh. So just make sure you're staying focused on that price action and make sure that you're not over trading this market. But right now the bulls are hanging in there nicely. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM, this is the weakest index by far, um, still struggling hard. And as you can see, we've pushed up into this area we're trying to test this these areas up here and i'm going to move this line up just a little bit we've attempted to break into that 2018 low right here but so far just can't quite get that done as you can see our 50-day moving average still diving fast there's not a lot of bullishness here in that iwm chart except that we are holding a trend now one thing i would say is this last little run separated us from that trend substantially and we could go into a longer term consolidation here over toward that trend, or we could even see that pullback come back into here to test those levels. But by and large, we're still a pretty darn weak um, a Russell. And as you can see this morning, the Russell is looking for a gap down this morning. So um, pretty pretty nasty right now when it comes to um, the Russell and what's going on. So. Just be careful here, be careful. There is a, um, well, just reason he here in the Russell to be a little bit concerned. Now, as I've been speaking, we've been up about 75 points um, so when I started this video just eight minutes ago, and we are now, Dow Futures are only 10 points up. So a lot of fluctuation here this morning as we roll through uh, these um, earnings numbers and then economic numbers to come um, can certainly be a little bit of a shock to our system so let's watch that close let's take a look at the vix real carefully the vix yesterday kind of surprising how the vix responded we we really didn't get a whole lot of fear coming into the market even with those terrible bad numbers on the economic calendar we did get a little bit of a rally but notice um, that adma held it as resistance we're we're still below our 50-day moving average here on the VIX but keep in mind that that little bit of fear did rally in here and so we do have that possibility that fear could be coming in if we throw some drawings on here we have some support levels right in here so we'll want to watch this area right in here if we can hold that area of support um, or if it holds that area of support that would be a little bit of a concern for the market we don't want to see that fear starting to creep back in 
but we'll watch that closely. If we can continue to show weakness here and fail on down, that's wonderful. Options are getting better priced. Things are starting to come together a little bit better. And um, maybe we're, we can start freeing things up here just a touch in the market. Let's take a look at T2122. Now T2122 gives me probably one of the bigger levels of concern. And that is that we are still relatively elevated here in the market. Now, at one point yesterday, T2122 was showing us pulling all the way back down into here. Um, but then that rally at the end of the day brought us right back up. So what does this tell us? Well, it really doesn't give us direction at all. But what it does tell us is we're, we're still up here toward that upper end. Um, and if we get any bearish numbers, then we could see that begin to slide. However, Let's keep in mind that if those bulls continue to defend those support levels, we may be in good shape here. So let's hold on. Let's watch that carefully. T2122 says that we still probably have a chance of a pullback, but um, we can certainly crawl right back up here into um, that over um, extended zone pretty easily if those bulls decide to hold on. As I speak, the futures actually went negative and now have bounced back just barely in the positive. So we're bouncing around the flat line right now as we head toward the open. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today. And this is really where we're going to have to probably put a little focus into this morning. What's been interesting in the past is as we've been getting these really, really bad jobless claims numbers, um, the market has been ignoring them. I mean, literally ignoring the jobless claim numbers as if it didn't even occur like it. They're so shocking and so bad, we just close our eyes, hold our nose, and continue to try and move higher. Now, of course, the FOMC is doing everything in their power to try and hold this market up. What's going to be interesting today is the numbers are expected somewhere between about 5 and 6 million additional people being unemployed here this morning. How much longer will the market be able to ignore that? Or will the FOMC again today jump in with another injection of cash to stave off any selling that could occur there? Hey, yeah, anything is possible. Um, we have um, housing numbers. Housing just kind of um, yesterday um, came in showing a bit of a heart attack uh, going on in uh, the housing market index where all buying has kind of stopped. There was some good numbers coming in on refinance, but nothing happening um, as far as the housing index. And then the Philly Fed, of course, that will be an important number as well. All of those coming out at um, an hour before the market opens so we can expect a little fireworks going on before the market opens here this morning. Now, um, other than the economic calendar, we have our earnings calendar to think about. In our earnings calendar, we have just over 80 companies reporting earnings today. And on that earnings calendar, we have several pretty good sized notables to be paying attention to. So first off, like ABT, ABT reporting this morning. Um, let's see, it looks like they're trying to move through gap up, trying to break out of resistance. Abbott Labs Medical looking pretty good. Um, BLK BlackRock will be reporting today. It looks like it's kind of just hanging out here. No report just yet. BK, BK, Bank of New York Mellon reporting this morning as well. BX will be another uh, Blackstone um, report this morning. Um, just hanging in here, not seeing any numbers really moving around on these just yet. Uh, DHR, DHR reporting this morning. Looks like they're trying to gap higher this morning. DHR, another healthcare company showing strength. Uh, DOV, DOV, um, Huge, wide, bid ass spread. No numbers on that yet, but we'll want to keep an eye on that. Honeywell is another report this morning we might want to keep an eye on. No report here, just kind of hanging out at the moment. Key, Key Bank um, will report today. Again, just kind of hanging out here so far this morning. No major moves just yet on these reports. Um, Rite Aid will be reporting this morning. Well, it looks like they have, and they are gapping lower here this morning on Rite Aid. Um, SKX, Skechers, be an interesting um, report here on Skechers. Skechers. Um, 
uh, so many of the textiles and things come out of China, be interesting to see if they saw any kind of supply chain problems here in SKX. And then TSM, uh, kind of the last one that I saw as uh, particularly notable this morning. And as you can see, it's gapping up this morning. Looks like it had a pretty good report. So we'll want to keep an eye on those closely today as they move along. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits in your trading. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could do me a favor, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you find these videos to be helpful, if you find them helping you prepare for the day and be um, uh, focus in on how you want to approach the market for the day, if you could do me a favor and uh, also click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. Helps our uh, channel to continue to grow and I want to say thank you so much for that as you guys probably seen over 10,000 subscribers um, this week um, you guys are awesome I truly truly appreciate it thank you very very much for all your support uh, and kind support of what I put out here so let's take a look at a few stocks that are setting up and a few things that I've been keeping an eye on um, here in the market one of the stocks that I mentioned yesterday was AMD and I've been keeping an eye on this and AMD refused to go down yesterday even with the selling in the market what I want to watch here uh, pretty carefully is if AMD can continue to hold um, above this support level I would love to see a little rest or a pullback consolidation in here to give an opportunity for an entry but AMD holding up very strong you might want to keep an eye on that chart looking just pretty darn good overall saw um, moves in um, some of the techs we had a little bit of a pullback yesterday but the techs held up really, really well, and I like this potential setup here in Intel. Intel holding in here broke that resistance, kind of holding onto that support, holding onto that trend, that little pullback provides an opportunity. If we get some bullishness in here, and as you can see, we're looking to gap up a little bit this morning in Intel, that might be an opportunity to see that just popping higher, moving on up. Take a look at Intel, might be a good place to look. Um, NVIDIA. NVIDIA was another place that I've been keeping a pretty close eye on. And as you can see, NVIDIA pushing against this resistance, but we're holding into that trend. Nice. And any more rest in here is a bullish signal to me. Um, the more we consolidate, the more we rest and calm down, holding on to these um, upper levels, I think is really, really good. Now you can see Intel's looking at a little pop up this morning as well. So if that can stay strong here, that may be the opportunity to take a shot there at Intel, maybe coming up here to that next or to that resistance high. But we're looking good, holding on to trends. And if you notice here closely, we have that pattern that a lot of people look for. And that's that inverted head and shoulders pattern. This would be our neckline breakup here which suggests that there may be some more upside coming here in that Intel chart. So keep a close eye on it. Saw Apple yesterday holding up quite well, even as the market was selling off, these t this tech sector held up really, really strong. And as you can see, a uh, nice little rally up here holding up. It may be a little bit extended, need a little bit more consolidation. If we can rest this in here, rest back in this area, watch for that next opportunity here in Apple. Looking pretty good. As you know, they released a new phone or announced a new phone that is a cheaper version trying to kind of re-stimulate some buying here in the market and um, something you might want to keep an eye on. Um, Comcast, Comcast yesterday, um, interesting pattern here. This was actually brought up by one of the members in the room um, yesterday. Um, I like the look of this chart and the fact that we're consolidating here. Now we have to keep in mind that this is pushing up toward that 50 day moving average. So there's still lots of resistance up in here. But one of the things I like in, in this chart, this pattern is that break of the downtrend here. We've rallied up 
and now we're trying to hang in here on this level of support. So if we can hang in here, we can see where the support is coming in on this chart. It's fairly clear. If we can hold in here and get some bulls stepping up in here, we may have that opportunity to push up into this next level of resistance. So keep an eye on charts like that coming up out of the bottom, trying to hold in there looking pretty good. Um, another one might be CTL, CenturyLink, uh, pushing up in here. As you know, with everybody staying home, um, they're buying all kinds of uh, video content and extra services and things like that, find, trying to find something to do. Do. but CenturyLink holding in here this is a nice little pullback and an opportunity possibly to catch that next rally into the upside now keep in mind we still have those resistance levels up here and you can see that I've placed an alert on that chart I'm also keeping an eye on a stock like CGC CGC um, is something I'm paying attention to CGC has been consolidating along this resistance area 50-day moving average above of, but uh, those cannabis stocks starting to show a little bit of improvement if they can start popping up in here might be something worth keeping an eye on um, Fox a is another Fox a as you can see there's that nice little pattern rallying up whoops didn't mean to move that line rallying up here breaking through some resistance so we have that nice little zigzag pattern that we like to see and now we're just resting and consolidating in a range here over toward that trend if that can continue to hold in here we want to look for that opportunity that that pops up up off of there and rallies on up toward that 50. Now, right now my alert is up here. If this calms a little more, if I could get two or three days of little doji candles right across here, then I would move that alert down trying to catch that earlier entry into that trade. Um, last but not least, I'm going to talk about travelers. Now, travelers has been moving up in a trend and we're struggling here a little bit again. This is going to be one of those critical points where this could go either direction. First off, if we can find buyers to hold on here, hold on to that support, we may have that opportunity to move higher but also keep in mind that if we break that trend and break that support and we could have a chance of that then this could turn into that bearish chart wait for that failure to occur catch that rally back to test resistance and then there would be an opportunity to maybe go short in that stock so lots of stocks to look at one thing i will say is a lot of sloppy price action though big whips making it a higher risk situation to trade so be careful plan your trades carefully and i want to wish everyone a fantastic day let's keep an eye on this market as we head into those economic reports we could move all over the place be safe be careful we'll see you right back here bright and early friday morning thank you everyone